Hello and welcome back to Defining Moments here on Watford FC. I'm delighted to say we're joined by none other than former Watford striker Tommy Mooney. Tommy, great to have you on today, how are you? Very well, thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Today we're going to be talking through um, some of your defining moments in, during your playing days at Watford. We've got some of the strips behind you. Is there any initial memories? Let's, we'll start with the 1999 home strip. Yeah, obviously it goes. And it, we, we should clearly say as well, this is the first time you've actually seen these. The first time they were around <laughs> you and even bought them, were you? Which makes me feel really old and he's already told me I look like his dad. <laughs> So he's really welcome me, he has. But I, first and foremost, this one, I mean, I, I imagine that shirt with Playoff 99 written in the middle of it. What was the preparation like going into the final with GT? Because we've heard it from stories with players who have played for the club, his preparation was so important. Did he do anything differently to normal? I mean, if you look back at the footage, you'll see that, that team that pretty much played every game. We went out in an order, out of the dressing room and onto the pitch, and we continued that to Wembley and then uh, eventually we, we carried that order on collecting our medals in, in private ceremonies as well and it was like uh, just an amazing family and an amazing dressing room. Yeah and actually when we watch it back you had a brilliant view of Nick Wright's overhead kick you were at the front post you saw it loop over yeah talk us through that what I mean unbelievable unbelievable strike yeah and it, again it was just right he was there for the reason of just in case there was a flick I think Michelle was in the net <laughs> and then I might have even I, yeah, I had an extreme desire to score goals I, I wanted to get my head on it yeah. and head it in <laughs> <laughs> and I'd have ruined right his life yeah. but no it was just a, a fabulous feeling but then you know also that you know there was a long way to go in the game and I don't think anybody plays well in finals just the pressure of it the, yeah the pressure of it and then also when you it, it's do you try and score again do you defend your lead but yeah, just a fabulous experience. My my only sad part of the day was I never scored. But well, we've got a picture here of you um, lifting the playoff trophy. If you want to take a little look, one of your proudest moments of your career. That one. Pro you? Yeah. No, probably the the proudest moment. Winning at Wembley and and to get the trophy was just the whole day was just unbelievable. Yeah. And we'd stayed in in the in the Hilton at Watford the night before and I'd probably had two hours sleep. I was just too excited. <laughs> just the adrenaline was pumping. I, uh, I was rooming with Robert Page and he told me about his career three or four times and normally halfway through we, I fall off to sleep. <laughs> but on that night we couldn't. We were just like we were like giggling kids. Yeah. And uh it, you know I was I was pleased to get through 90 minutes and to be able to 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 pick the trophy up, <laughs> get my medal. I, I put the cap on because I had a rascal barn at the time. It was obviously going. <laughs> but no, that, that medal around my neck and, and that's, that medal's still in my dad's house with, with the shirts. Right, Tommy, we'll move on to the 98-99 away strip. It actually wasn't the first time this was won, was it? It was Fulham away at Craven Cottage, last game of the season, 97-98. Division two title, another special, special day. Yeah, my first medal. And I suppose you, as a footballer, you, you make your career, but when you look back and, you know, it's, it's 10, 12 years since I've retired, but it's the days in these shirts um, that you, when you win medals, that's what you look back on and, and, and enjoy the, the revelry of the dressing rooms afterwards and, and, and how hard you <laughs> I've got to stop you there, just look at, the, look at me just padding on the scenes there. I mean, a few champagne bottles that night, eh? <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure how long how long that was, that's me in the back there, yeah, behind Big Jace. <laughs> we had two celebrations that day because we came in, I mean, we got into the dressing room and, and celebrated all together because there were so many people on the pitch and it. You know, you, you shouldn't condone it, but it was amazing. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then we were celebrating for 15, 20 minutes, and then we, then Robbo came in the door, nearly kicked it off its hinges. And we were like, we didn't even know he was missing. So all the celebrations started again. So that could be celebration one or two. I'm not sure which one. Right, we'll move on to what was quite an odd occasion. Uh, Oxford turned up with their yellow strip, and they actually had to wear this away kit, while Watford wore the, the home kit uh, for that game. I don't think you were playing in that one, but can you remember anything from the game that... But yeah, I remember watching the game and thinking, you know, it just this doesn't look right. It was almost like a training ground game. And I think a lot of players like away kits because it's a change from what you normally wear. 
and I thought they looked better than we did <laughs> on that on that day, and that's, that's they my only off real that. yeah, my <laughs> only real thoughts. Yeah, they looked they looked quite smart in our yeah. kit. Tommy, the final strip we've got here is the 99-2001 and no better place to start than Anfield away in front of the cop. Could you believe how much space you had in the penalty box? Uh, I, I, all I remember of it really is, is Pagey and Willow just diving into somebody um, and then, well, you can see <laughs> five or six of the lads just trying to stop me breathing by the yeah. look of it. But no, it was, it was one of those, another set piece, Peter Kennedy was unbelievable, his quality with his left foot, threw it in and then, you know, it was just, a, that was what GT wanted on set pieces, you know, attack the ball. And it just, it fell to me. I think it, I, I had a touch of it before it went in the net and then you say Willow and Pagey have smashed somebody and it's just dropped to me and even I can't miss from six yeah. yards. We'd played well, but they'd missed chances. Chris Day had kept us in the game. I missed another chance in the second half. You know, before that, with the running, we'd won 12 of 13 games to get to Wembley and then won at Wembley. So we got used to a winning dressing room and then we'd had two defeats on the trot. And to go back to that winning dressing room at Liverpool was, was special. Kenny and GT were, were, were brilliant on that day. Tactically, emotionally, how they spoke to the players. Um, they were just brilliant. And then in that week, another goal, Bradford at home. Yeah. Out of the two though, which was your favourite? Because I'd, personally, I'd say that's probably a better goal. For me, that's one of my, my favourite goals I've ever scored. Really? Out of any of them. And there was a lot. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that, that was just my game, I think. Attack the first ball and to head it wide and then get in the box and then get my head on it again. You know, it was, I, I think that summed up my game and then I, my knee did well to hold Robbo jumping on, the, on my back. <laughs> so I can see that. The celebration, Shearer-esque with the celebration. He's, he's just about <laughs> to launch himself onto my, onto my back. If you enjoyed that, you'll love this.